All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube for the next edition of Simic Adapt. The new card that I'm trying out in this deck, you know, we've played this deck a few times now. The new card that I'm, I'm trying out here is Incubation Incongruity. Um, we've kind of struggled with not having any removal in this deck, so I want to try the Incongruity, and the Incubation uh, can be just another tool to help us find a whole lot of Biogenic Oozes because the biogenic oozes uh, really chain chain really well uh, or if we're if we're ahead and we just need to have like a counter spell incubation druid can find frilled mystic for like a counter spell that like we you know we could just keep up our counter magic or you know obviously crisis is an amazingly good card too so we can do a lot with that card that one looks pretty pretty sweet uh, new sideboard card I'm going to try out some mesmer mesmerizing benthid um, against the red decks are against like a uh, aggro decks as like a, a good blocker. Uh, we'll try out one of those. And of course a mass manipulation, um, against the Golgari decks, take their Vivian, take their hydroid crisis, all that kind of stuff. Take them all. Let's try Simic adapt. I've, I've had a lot of fun whenever I played this deck. This has been a, a fun deck to play, especially, um, frilled mystic. Frilled mystic is a, is a good card. Uh, we don't really want to see the really fast aggro decks here. Uh, you know, last league with Teamer Gates, we didn't want to see Control and Wil and uh, Wilderness Reclamation, and that's like all we played against. Now we do not really want to see the fast aggro decks. I think Nexus of Fate should be banned. What are your thoughts? Um, I don't think it needs to be. I don't. I don't like the card. I'm not a fan of of Nexus of Fate. I wouldn't be sad or anything if it was banned. Um, I, I would be more interested, I guess, I kind of wish it would, they would errata it more than ban it, but it's, it's hard to do that. I don't know. I think it's just going to be left alone for a while. It'd be nice if it could be banned for best of one, but I mean, I would play best of one, but I, I hear it's horrible to play against the best of one. Hmm. This is a terrible start for us. Like I, I can play Druid in in Landwar Elf, but if my if my opponent has, if they have Deafening Claire, and I'm just like dead on the spot. I guess we have to try to win though. Oh, you know, just gotta hope they don't have Deafening Claire on. Yeah, that, that's what I would like. I would like Nexus as just a sorcery, um, or Nexus not shuffle into, or not reshuffle. Either of those would have been nice. It's been one of those days where our opponents have had the cards. When we're saying, hope they don't have X, they've had, a, they've had X. It's been one of those kind of days. Let's say the 28th, yeah, 28th day of the year. Keep up the pace. All right, I'm getting Teamer Gates up on YouTube. So negates the easy one to come on in. Um, I may not need incubation here because I don't really need the inc incongruity unless that they are unless they're planning on. They could have like some of their flyers they could bring in. But we have Vivians to kill those also. We have Frilled Mystic to counter. By their flyers, I mean like maybe something like Vivian, or sorry, uh, Niv Mizzet or Lyra. But Vivian. Oh, this hair on this mic. Oh, it's closer to me. There, there, got it. Um, so if we play one of these other cards, which card are we playing? I guess I'm just gonna play. Yeah, incubation. Incubation's good though. Still, I guess it gets frilled mystic. 
It's so good. Maybe I should be playing another one over a Biogenic Ooze. Alright, we got lands. I like it. You can find the Mardu Angels list and all my other lists on Stream Decker. Just put the link there for you. Streamdecker.com slash dex slash Todd Stevens MTG. If you're watching this later on YouTube, it's also a link to that down in the info panel. I like the I like our arts though. I like this forest and island. They work well together, too. Yeah, like those look pretty... Those look good together. And the Hinterland Harbor. Just sitting there appreciating that for a second. Hmm... I want to resolve Vivian, and then otherwise I'm looking at. I was looking for counter magic and frilled mystic, negate frilled mystic. Nope. We are extending. Like, playing the Biogenic Ooze extends into a Wrath, but if they Wrath, then presumably we can resolve Vivian. The biggest problem, you know, like, if they have Deafening Clarion Negate, they just really get us. Fire with fire copied. That's good. That's five mana, two cards, and doesn't even kill everything. What are your thoughts on the riot mechanic now that the set's been out for a little while? I still like it. I think Would it's a good the mechanic. Wilds are my shield. I think it. Yeah, I like it quite a bit. Tilt. I don't get to play land where else. I wish I would have just taken the basic. Hmm. Trust me. No time for a break. And we could have threatened having lethal on the Teferi if I would have played the Lana Werewolf. I would have just played the island first, had the green source. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Alan with the donation for a song request. Thanks, Alan. Alright, I'll get to that here in just a second. let you win protecting the Hadana's climb was not something I was super interested in um, you know what I'm not done yet the frilled mystic so I'm waiting here on it all 
All right, we got a Sauron quest. No one knows the wilds like I do. Wow. So we get uh, X is six. There we go, there's some spells. So they're likely gonna need a Teferi tuck the Vivian to get rid of the emblem. Or not. Hold that thought. I didn't want to use the, the Mystic to protect the climb. I wanted to use the Mystic on, on their turn, or I wanted to, I wanted to protect to protect the 3-3 three, three that was attacking Teferi with the Mystic, basically. Oh, it's Expansion? Or it could just be Nexus. Or nothing? Ah, it's expand it's Expansion. Ah, most wounds Dang. Alright, well, Teferi down. They have a new seven, but we practically have we have a seven also Come though, to me. and we have a six six on the battlefield. Looking for frilled mystic. Haven't been finding them too much. Um. Playing cards that replace themselves. Even if they have a wrath. This is good thinking music. Double Wrath. All right. Well, they're, they're down to five cards. We're at five cards. We have a Vivian. Balance comes. There's the Mystic. Uh, four and five. Yeah. Booze and Mystic. And then we can we can even you know activate ooze on their turn if we turns out we don't really need to use this frilled mystic. Binding's a problem. I don't have any disenchants in, in right now. Just always absorbing my bindings. That's a problem. Ugh. Well,
They're down to two cards, though. Let's get the last Growth Chamber Guardian out of there. So we know we're not going to draw that. Discarded a land. More lands. Good thing we got plenty of basics. Still at 18. Yeah, so much life. Right on schedule. Let's skip to the good part. All right. Doesn't happen too often where your opponent draws to fairy or like plays to fairy, ticks up, and uh, doesn't, you know, and then just kind of, just kind of, yeah, concedes. Um, let's see. Do I want Rexage or Brontodon to deal with Ixalan's Binding? I probably need it. Because, you know, binding on Vivian like that is really rough. Hmm. No, Jade Light doesn't come out basically ever. Jade Light is really, really, really good. Hadana's Climb can certainly come out. We don't, don't really need Hadana's Climb in this matchup. The matchups where they kill all your creatures uh, take out the value of Hadana's Climb. Reduce reduces the value of Hadana's Climb. So we can play a Brontodon there, like Brontodon not dying to Clarion and stuff also. Do we need eight mana creatures in this matchup? Honestly, maybe not. Um, one of our best ways to win though is having the mana creatures early and dropping a Vivian right away uh, but I could I could see getting rid of the land war elf the land war elves I like the incubation druids because of how much like that the extra mana is awesome with Krasis and of course real good with thrilled mystic as well um, yeah is Bronson better than crushing canopy yeah Bron we're weak against the we're weak against the uh, the aggro decks. Bronzedon is is good there, and like I want Bronzedon against mono uh, against mono red as like a speed bump that can destroy a frenzy. It's just a replay of the game, the first game. First game is just the same thing. We just kept a two lander with mana creatures and just didn't draw land. I mean, I can incubation for, like, what? For, like, another mana creature? Or Jade Light? I guess a Jade Light. Hmm. 
Hmm. Uh, for both, it you know it can be removal. Um, we need it, or or it can find us more of our creatures. You know, it's just kind of it kind of does both. This is so sad. Can't we just get a land? Uh, it's turn four. We were on the draw, so we drew four cards. None of them were lands. can't just tap out for t and let them play to fairy it's really easy to, to just play a two drop there but we just can't do it I'm sure a lot a lot of people would want to just jam that two drop but gotta gotta be able to counter to fairy Alright, now we'll just have like a uh, activate, uh, activate, sorry, we can activate an incubation druid now. And don't need to use the negate there. We'll just make our creature a 3-5. Alright, and we have resolved Vivian. We have a good amount of mana now. Things aren't looking so bad. Our opponent only has three cards in hand. I've seen things that would break someone like you. We're kind of doing it. Do I want island? I kind of want the island. No, I'm going to take Jade Light. Uh, thanks, Play. Saying the last few turns you played extremely well. Thank you. Down to three. Card still. Star of Extinction. That's so rude. I always survive. You'll see. I'm not so sure if you always survive there, Vivian. Well, we're going to have all three of our Kraysai eventually. Not a Teferi, anything but that. No Did not have a, a good watch. answer here for Teferi. Keep up the pace. Uh, Star of Extinction into Teferi. Our opponent's in on three cards. Uh, you're so close. So close. Want me to phase you out of time? I don't know. Do I? <laughs> Thinking about jumping into a best three run, but I don't want to draw Todd. <laughs> Yeah, just just start to start your match. You know, you can see no like whenever I'm in the break. queue. Just make sure you're not in the queue at the same time that that I am. I would really like to resolve Vivian to destroy that Mirari conjecture, but I don't think it's happening.
I don't think it's happening, seeing that absorb over there. Um, yeah, I mean, they're just going to get back. They're just going to let their Teferi die, get back Star of Extinction. Re-Star of Extinction. Wrath my board, destroy land. I guess we kind of force them to do that. That does tap them out. Suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Nah, attacking attacking my opponent's not it's not the right thing to be doing. Got to force, you know, I need to force them to tap out. And we just got to draw we just got to draw another land and resolve this Vivian while they're tapped out. We just got to go for this here. They honestly may not play the Star of Extinction. Actually, I don't think they should. I think they should wait another turn where they can double star with Mirari Conjecture and have, like, Absorb. All right, they're doing it. So now we got to draw this land. Resolve Vivian. Uh, destroy Mirari Conjecture. I kind of feel like they should double star, but... They went for it. We drew the land. Dreams come true. Every, Conjecture no out of here. Restoration was painless. We're still fighting hard. We've gotten through two Teferis. Uh. We need to move quickly. I feel like they play like four of that card. They just draw so many of them. Welp. So Ooze gets absorbed. Crisis for three only draws us one card. Crisis for two also draws us a card and lets us play a land war elf. I don't think we're getting this one. We've we've put ourselves in some in better in like okay spots, but we've needed our opponent to just not have more Teferis, and they've had more Teferis, and that's going to do it. I wish they made Teferi only able to only untap basic lands. That's interesting. Hey, Cryo. All right, we're on one with Simic Adapt. Let's kind of <clears throat> let's try to let's try to hit land drops. You know, like that. Both those games we lost, we got stuck on two lands forever. We even we almost pulled out that third game though. Even with that being the case. Alright. Uh, our opponent hates cards. Confirmed. Untap gates only would be a good, good thing for Teferi. Breeding pool. Got the mirror match.
If it's not a land, I'm, I'm putting in the graveyard. Okay, well, we, we got lands. Because I want to play Vivian or Biogenic who's next turn. And that answer is going to be Vivian. I guess we should play the, the uh, lands they know about. Night Owl! Tired of my angels getting killed. Let's try some Esper Would you like Angels. To see what's left of Scala? Right? Where's all this you mana can't earlier? Stop nature. Alright, let's check out this Esper Angels deck list. Oh, Amped Phil, if you're still in here. You still in here, Amped Phil? No, Amped Phil's not in here. Here's the deck I put in chat if someone wants to see it. <laughs> Vivian on the battle, untapping with Vivian and having a frilled mystic available. Doesn't get much better than that. The wilds are my shield. All right, I like the I like the look of this this Esper Angels. That looks pretty cool. What do I think about Jund? I think Jund has like basically all the tools to do kind of whatever at once. Uh, finding like the the best Jund list is going to take a little bit. I haven't seen any that I love too much yet, but Jund has uh, you know a lot of really good cards. So I, I definitely want mass manipulation in this matchup. Do I want anything else? Do we want like negate or something? I don't I don't think so actually. I think that's all I want is just one mass manipulation. Um I'm not sure. Uh Cool, you rewatched the the Tithe video? Yeah, Karn Treasure Map Rampage of the Clans was really good. And and the the Tithe was good. The Tithe was 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 good. Um Yeah, we started with Biomancer's familiar in the deck. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of not strong enough. The first, the first adaptation, uh, no pun intended, of the deck had, uh, Biomass is familiar. I'll just take out an incubation for putting in the manipulation. <laughs> <laughs> What's my favorite deck to play in standard? Honestly, I don't don't really know right now. Um, I'm still kind of figuring that out. Uh, the deck I've done the best with so far has been Mardu Angels and just kind of the Angels decks in general. I don't like mulliganing this hand. I, I feel like we were going to get run over, though. I just hope we don't. We're not we're not we're not beating like Golgari's best hands with this. Um, we could. That's not a draw. I was gonna say we could draw a mana creature though, also, but no. Nope. No, I don't, I don't think adapt is pretty underwhelming and constructed. I guess a lot of the cards. I mean, I, I really th really like uh, Incubation Druid a ton. Doesn't really matter what land we play. So Night Owl, when when do you want me to play Esper Angels? And what slot? What day, what slot? Hmm. 
could wait a turn and play it on three. Or play it... I could play it for four next turn. I just have to take six here. Yeah, tomorrow's good. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. Well, tomorrow last. Okay. All right, tomorrow last. Gotcha. I'm glad our opponent didn't attack. I don't know why they didn't attack, but I'm glad they didn't attack. Looking for oozes right now. No one knows huh. the wilds like I do. We must have chupacabra. I think that's a that's pretty easy just to minus there and just use some loyalty. I guess they just want to use a cast down. Do I have any way to deal with this Vivian? Oh yeah, mass manipulation. Oh man. Dude, how good would mass manipulation be as a draw right now? Oh, it would be so good. We can... Oh my gosh, if we draw mass manipulation, no! We'd be able to take their Vivian and ultimate their Vivian and take their Krasis. How insane would mass, mass manipulation would have been here? Uh, honestly, I think, honestly, that, that, like, that card is, is really strong, and honestly, like, that's, that's maybe, like, should be a lot bigger part of the deck, with having, like, these mana creatures and everything, and these matchups, especially, like, the, like, that deck that we just played against, the Sultai deck, they don't really attack your land or elves and incubations too, too much. Like, I could certainly see, uh, playing, like, three of these, maybe even four of these, like, Certainly seems really good in this matchup. Like this, this maybe just should be the sideboard card. All right, hand was too slow on the draw. Two max? Why? Why not more? Behemoth Dan, someone with Twitch Prime. Taking Vivian is so good. That's all I want to do. That's our eleventh sub of the day. Play first. All right, we get to incubation here and look for a mana creature. Yeah, it is dead in the early game, but I mean, it's it's kind of the same thing as Krasis. You know, you don't really play Krasis in the early game. Mana creature. gonna pay the two life right now where yeah just paying the two life right now you'll never cast them though countered more often than not it's a minimum six mana spell All right, we're frilled mysticing anything they play. Doesn't matter what they're play. I'm I'm countering it. That certainly works. Get that Jade Light Ranger out of here. That card's too good. 
And then uh, I start going with Biogenicus or Vivian. I think it's always Vivian. I didn't live through. I've seen things that would break someone like you. That's gonna be ooze time. Next turn. All right, where's this mass manipulation? Let's see if you're worth meet my newest friend. I guess I can. I can just activate the incubation druid and whack the Vivian for three. No one knows the wilds like I do. Nah, let's start using. You can't stop nature. <laughs> J Knight with a sub. Let's get some more hype for that. Thank you so much, J Knight. Yeah, this is what I do. I'm here. Uh, if you're kind of new to the channel here, I'm, I am here every day, 3 to 10, Eastern standard time and this is my full-time job so yeah I really do appreciate the subscriptions they mean a lot thank you yeah we're, we're double losing let's let's take this up the wilds are my shield I mean am I double losing I could also just Play Incubation Druid. And just be able to protect my Vivian and be able to counter next be able to ultimate next turn. I guess I'm just doing that. So like like they're only out here as like what, like, you know, Chupacabra or something? I guess they could have like multiple cast downs. I don't know. Come to me. Yeah, we just gotta just gonna protect the Vivian. To ultimate. Hmm, I guess that resolves, because they could still have Vrasa's Contempt. You should see the look on your face right now. No, I didn't make more slimes because if I if I tapped out, they could have they could have had the contempt and contempted my Vivian after I tapped out. So I wasn't going to use that mana to make more slimes. Yeah, using the mana opened me up there. All right, the battle of the Vivians. One and one. That was really close. Our opponent almost had their Vivian ultimate in. All right, I have it to 61 and debating between a Mortify and a, or a Mara. I like both those cards. I just played in a, an unbreakable will against an opponent who tried to clear my board with finality. It didn't work, should it have? No, un, unbreakable will just makes your creatures indestructible. Finality reduces the toughness to be less than one, and that still kills indestructible creatures. Indestructible creatures only cannot die from damage dealt, but they can still have their toughness reduced and therefore leave the battlefield. So, unfortunately, no. That uh, didn't work too well for you. Would sleep be good for mirror matches? No, I think I'd rather be playing... Uh, I think I'd rather play something like... Uh, 
River's Rebuke. You can wait till the other two mana and just bounce all the things, make them re spend a lot of re mana to replay things. If you want that effect. Question, if you played the ooze you already had in hand there after they saw you grab the other from Vivian, do they still see the second ooze in hand? No, it only checks for the the art, so you're, you're good to go of playing the... Um, playing whichever ooze. It doesn't, it doesn't matter which ooze I would, I would play there. All right. I don't know what that attack was about. I know I could just adapt to the Growth Chamber Guardian and make it a 4-4, but I want the Hadana's Climb in play, where I can just kind of start adapting these infinitely. The Mardu uh, Angels list you can find here in decks, in my stream decker. From from a few days ago, so they got frenzy in play. I mean, frenzy's a great card. So even if they have a card like Wanda the Vertebrae in their deck, you can still get bailed out by how good of a card frenzy is. And I mean, I guess that's a combo. Put the top card of your library into your graveyard. So if you don't, I mean, it's, I guess that's a combo. Do you have any Golgari with Hydroid Crisis deck? I don't know. Could have just activated Wing Temple, attack them for ten. And then like try to attack them for ten again next turn, but I think it's it's kinda risky. Looks like we would have died if I would have done that. So if I would have done that, we would have just had the land wear off. They shock it. I'm at five. Yeah, I'm dead. So if I if I would have activated the the growth chamber, if I would have activated wing temple, attacked that for ten, I was I was taking lethal here. So good thing we didn't do that. I mean, I just, I just have to hit lands. What the heck? Where are the lands at? No Colts, I have nothing to say about Jeff. I mean, 
One of the ver vertebrae is pretty awesome when you have Frenzy in play. Hmm. Yeah, there's. We don't need to, don't need to say bad things about uh, Jeff. Like, don't need, don't need to say or just any streamer. You know, we don't need to to uh, say bad things about people. How how to subscribe? You can just follow that link right there, twitch.tv slash totsteamsmtg slash subscribe. That should be able to get you there. Yeah, the charging monster sword needs to get countered. Yeah, our opponent just has, they have so many lands and everything. These We're not competing mana-wise. Because, you know, I would love to be able to, like, winged temple my growth chamber guardian and do other things. We haven't been able to. So I guess a Krasis for four and gain two life. Or I wait another turn and, and Frilled Mystic again. Um, they're down to 23 cards in their library. Oh yeah, if our opponent just cat if they just would have attacked with everything, they would have killed us. Yeah. Oh yeah, the odds we die are uh, soon are incredibly good. I mean, we've survived an experimental frenzy for this long. It's that's really nice, especially when they have Wanda the Vertebrae to help them out. It's a good combo. Yeah, like we have to be dead, right? Can we mill the opponent out? No. Shows you how ridiculously good a card Experimental Frenzy is. Alright, let's have Rexage, Brontodon, Raptor, Benthid, and a bunch of negates. And we're cutting Climb, uh, Growth Chamber Guardian. I guess I'll cut Vivian. We have other ways to destroy enchantments. Um, oh, Mass, that's something to say about me. That I enjoy, enjoy your streams and I'm glad I come to watch you every day. Well, thank you so much, Mass. And Jay Jack Jr. with the donation deck also. All right, we're have, we have three donation decks for tomorrow. All right, take a quick look at this, Todd, and I'd like you to play it tomorrow. Let me know what you think. All right, sounds good. Captivate. All right, we're going to... we have It's a captive audience control deck. Uh, black, red, control. Here's the link. Um, so wait, we're at 66. I 
I kind of want to just not. I kind of want to cut incubation, I guess. I may just don't have like the time to be doing that. That's still sixty-two. I guess two ooze. Kind of like the oozes to go over the top, though. Will I cut land war against the chain whirler deck? Uh, def like on the draw. I'm. I like cutting it on the draw. Maybe not on the play, depending on how important it is. But certainly on the draw uh, against chain whirler, where you know, like, you're only getting one activation from it before a chain whirler comes down, even if you have it on turn one. So J. Jack Jr., I, I like what we have going on here for the most part. One card, though, that shouldn't be in the deck is Kite Sail Freebooter. It just turns on a bunch of the opponent's removal spells. It's it's never... It's not going to just stay... Like, we're playing a, a deck that we want to, you know, have a very long game. And the freebooter is not going to just stay around for a while. That needs to be something else. Well, there's probably more removal. Like, uh, maybe that's like the devil. Uh, maybe that's even like if you want to play Pestilence Spirit there. I don't mind that even, where you can Pestilence Spirit plus Shock or Lava Coil or something. Um, honestly, it could be Theater of Horrors. I think Theater of Horrors could work there. Probably more removal, though. Maybe a Star of Extinction or two. But it's got it's got to be something else besides Kite Sail Freebooter. Yeah, climb is climbs for like the the mid range mirrors. You know, like the the other creature decks. It's not good against the very fast or very slow decks. I don't really want it in either of those matchups. But in like the mid-range mirrors, like against Soul Ties, uh, stuff like that, I, I really like, really like it there. Sounds good, J-Jack. Why is Climb not very good against Control? Because it's it's like a card that they get to ignore. Uh, basically, you know, they just need to kill your creatures. They don't need to, like, counter. They, can't, they don't really need to counter Climb or remove it or anything. If they just kill all your creatures, your, your Climb's not going to really be doing anything. So you'd rather just have another threat they have to, like... Basically, all your cards you want to be like threats they have to deal with, and climb is not necessarily a card they need to deal with. Um, yeah, you know, there's there's certainly times where it's good against control of like how you don't have to have like more threats on the board, but you still like kill them quickly, all that kind of stuff. It'd certainly be a lot better with haste creatures. Um, so three, four, five, six now. Double, yeah, doubling damage is good, but if you if you don't have you know cards in play, it doesn't help too much. Yeah, we're doing it. We got this game under wraps. Our opponent didn't have a very good hand. They had, you know, like they were sitting with their wand of vertebrates in their hand. So we got we got this one. 
It's just we'll see. We'll see if we can get a game, um, a game three on the draw. Yeah, it it allows you to put the top card of your library into your graveyard. That's what that's what Wanda Vertebrae does. So it's particularly it's like it's a combo that they they got us with it the first game. It's a combo with Experimental Frenzy. So when they have Frenzy on the battlefield, then it you know like they hit two lands, they get to mill over the land, and so on. All right, game three. Gosh, this hand's so slow. I mean, I like the cards in our hand. If we don't draw a land right away, we're not going to do it. Our hand's just, it's, I mean, it's a good hand. We just need lands. I think that's worth keeping. Let's get this land. Ah. Because I love being able to destroy, uh, um, Experimental Frenzy, of course, and Frilled Mystics are, are just awesome in this matchup of, you know, counter a burn spell trade with a creature kind of thing. Really need that land last turn. Land of Rolf's good, though. Crap. Well, this keeps not working out. Five cards deep, didn't see a land. <laughs> hey, fancy pants, thanks for the bits. Okay, we're good. All right, it's working out now. All right, we got the answer for that. Land? No. And suddenly the hand's working out. The Mardu Angels deck, you can find the deck list here in on my stream decker, streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. You have to search a little bit for it. It's <laughs> Wand of Vertebrae. Alright, this game's this game's over. They get one card a turn. We get to counter the next two cards with these frilled mystics. Yeah, I don't I don't think they can win from here. So glad they didn't have that last turn. So glad they didn't have that last turn. <laughs> Bye.
paid life because uh um Paid life because I wanted to hold up Frilled Mystic still. Hey, Jay Knight. I wonder if you could play my list for Naya Dinosaurs on Arena. Anytime on any day would be fine for me. All right, we'll play it tomorrow. We got four donation decks for tomorrow. Awesome. All right, you got to spawn it. All right, gonna go a little risky here. Not necessarily keeping up for old Mystic. What's the plan when I start getting too many donation decks? Um, well, I just have four, you know, room for four a day. Um. If I get more than four a day, then I'd have to start a queue. All right, let's check out this Naya Dinos deck. Ah, Streamlabs. If you like to see the deck, here you go. All right, two and one with Simic Adapt. We saw the strength of Feral Mystic that game. All right, Boo, take care. Have a good night. Another five-win league with Mardu Angels. Awesome. Loving the deck. Really surprised I haven't seen it played more. Well, way to go. Way to go. That's awesome. Yeah, Mardu Angels, we have keep getting five wins with it also. Um, are you, what are you doing with the two drops? Are you, are you still just going with the Danto Vanguard and, um, and Tithe Taker? Or have you switched over to, to Kali Honor Guard? What are you doing there? I'd like some, some feedback on the, the, your two drop slot of what you're playing, what you're liking. This is the problem against control. Like, this is why I was saying Hadana's Climb is not very good. Like, they just answer your threats. I don't want to throw Growth Chamber Guardian out there without being able to, to, to put a counter on it, but. No. <laughs> Please run. A chase stokes the forge. Get another blue source. Divination there with the Growth Chamber Guardian. I'm just not going to be able to deal with this Angrath. No fire. What do I think no of Radiant steel. Destiny in Mardu Angels? Not, not a card that I'm interested in. Um, three mana for growing your creatures a little bit is not worth it. Um, I forgot about the Eldest Reborn discard here. I was, you know, planning on playing two Growth Chamber Guardians out. Game's over. Angrath is is lit. Yeah, I really like Angrath. <laughs> Just a Minotaur pirate. Um, 
That's a lot of people playing Krasis. It's it's better. It's really good against Krasis. It's a sweet card. This is a tough matchup for us. I don't know. I guess we're bringing in these negates. Um, climb comes on out. I don't know about Rex Age and Brontodon. It's like I I kind of want Rex Age and Brontodon, but I also don't really. Hmm. They're probably playing Disinformation Campaign and Search for Escanta to go along with those Eldest Reborns. I have three foil mesmerized benthid. That card is bad, right? I have it in the sideboard here to slow down uh, creature decks. Um, you know, and, and like red decks, like where you can't just burn it right away. I don't know. It's in the same set with Biogenic Ooze, which is a better card. Um, but it's also, it's kind of a cool thing to pot into with Vanifar. How long is the deck queue? Just four decks for tomorrow. That's that's what I got right now, Zach. Uh, deck queue is didn't have a deck queue at all before the stream, but we had four uh, donation decks today. So I got four for tomorrow, but I I don't have any for any other day. So if you want to throw money towards a donation deck, um, you know you can pick a different day besides tomorrow. Pick a time slot. J Jack, do you, uh, if you're still in here, do you necessarily care? Like, do you have a preference for second or third tomorrow? All right, good. We're gonna have Frilled Mystic available. Nice. Yeah, so Rakdos Menagerie, we didn't do very good with it, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I, I didn't play like necessarily like my, my best or anything also, uh, as it was like the end of a, a long night, I was kind of tired. Um, Ooh, they're stuck on lands, you say? That clock that Frilled Mystic provides is real. You know, like... Our opponent was about to go to 19. Now they're going down to 2. So excited to find a final build of Mario Aristocrats. Yeah. It is, it is a difficult one to, to pull off. But there's certainly a lot of tools there. Pro Circuits with the sub. Let's get some hype in the channel for our lucky number 13th sub of the day. And bringing us to a nice even 30 subs left until the next 12 hour stream. We're getting there. I'm playing Chupacabra also. Yes, they were playing Disinformation Campaign. I kind of want to play this Mass Manipulation. Oh, you're welcome, Frontier. And Leo Zero, you're welcome as well. 
Thanks for the kind words, everybody. Let's see. I, I kind of want to play this mass manipulation, but I don't really know where I want it. Um, this right here is my day job. Uh, Goonie, I'm here every day. And so this is basically all my revenue is streaming here. So yeah, so y'all sub in there with Twitch Prime really, uh, really means a lot. Um, Ioxin being sub number 14. We're one away from a pack, and now that should mean that we're down to 29. The number hasn't updated. There, just updated. Alright, down to 29 to go. Uh, let's get some lands. That's the worst possible draw. Thought it was gonna be the uh, the black one mana instant that gives a creature minus one minus one. <laughs> yep, we're tied to work. I don't have to go very far though. You know, just have to get us stay at home. They, they took the worst card in my hand. Unfortunately, it's not... Alright, I'm, I'm getting punished for keeping this. Oh, not, not punished. Never punished. Ooh. Golden Demise. Alright, I'm not going to play the other Druid. Worried about Golden Demise, Cry of the Carnarium. At least they waited on that. No, pass the turn. Ugh. Land! Oh, baby, come on. No counter spell. Okay. But I've seen things that would break someone like you. Y yeah, you walked up here. And what happened? We drew awesome stuff. Thanks, Hawkeye. You so nice. Oh, person. All right. I've been playing MTG Sense Evasion, but I've always juggled other card games and found much more success in those games. Played on the Pro Tour for Versus System, Top 16, uh, Pokemon TCG. Nationals, tons of other top events in Yu-Gi-Oh. But I've never really grasped deck building in this game. Any re re recommendations for videos or articles that might help me on that front? Um. Hmm. Maybe try... I mean, maybe this is too basic for you, honestly, but try take a look at like that level one course that Reed Duke wrote um, that I'm just putting in here. I think they, I think he has some deck building stuff. Honestly, I haven't, I haven't read over this too much, but the, he has a deck construction um, part like towards the end uh, there. Balance comes. Okay. I used to be a high school teacher. Yeah, that's that's a really good question though. Of like, you know, struggling with the deck building, you, you've done well in like the other games. Um, besides that, I'm not really sure, honestly. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I 
So I'm, I'm, you know, overextending to this battlefield here, but it doesn't, like, they could use a sweeper and kill all this stuff, but that doesn't matter if Vivian ultimates, so. It looks like Vivian's gonna ultimate. And we win the game. You're not walking out Vivian of here. Vivian is so good. Just basically win every game because of Vivian. Okay, do really well in limited, just garbage and constructed. Huh. That just seems really odd. Um, the magic's like that much that different, especially constructed. I'm trying to say good game opponent. There we go. Yeah, it probably is just kind of practice, I guess. So yeah, you've always just played the decks that do well at major events in MTG, but the meta shifts so often in this game. That is true. Yeah, that is true. The meta game does shift a whole lot. You you do need to play a lot. Um, because yeah, if you're if you're playing like last week's decks, uh, that that is a problem. That, yeah, people do. They really do. Uh, like the meta game evolves very quickly. Yeah, Vivian ult gives the creatures indestructible. Yep. It's it does a lot. <laughs> Alright, we got Gurmag here. I thought we were losing that one with our, our one lander, but the opponent got stuck on two. And we got there. Yeah, Prime Speaker pod decks are fun. I haven't I haven't played them as much as I should. I don't think. Yeah, maybe maybe it's not possible to be real serious with MTG and competitive and a bunch of other TCGs also. <laughs> yeah, it's... Oh, we were at 28 subs. Yeah, I bet the ally creature type will come back to standard at some point. Come on, land drop. Come on, land drop. Wow. The opponent's so rude. When you play a donation deck, will you take it to a league? Yep. Yep, so just like these same these same things that I'm doing right now. So I uh, play these events where, um, you know, play it and, and we go till we win five or lose two kind of thing. Yep, these, these same leagues that we're doing here with these decks. And then, uh, then, you know, I talk about the deck afterwards, what I liked, what I didn't like, that kind of stuff. Does it function well without the Hydroid Crassus for this deck? So if you don't play Hydroid Crassus, what are we playing? What? This is nothing. All right, so we have we have enough mana to Frilled Mystic. I can, I can even just play my own Vivian. I kind of want Frilled Mystic, but. Encounter their stuff, but I do need to pressure their Vivian. So we're in a tough spot here. Um, I can go Growth Chamber Guardian plus Hadana's Climb. But yeah, I think you can replace Krasis. I guess that's that's what I was getting at. Yeah, I think you can replace Krasis. 
I'm not exactly sure with what off the top of my head here while I'm trying to play this game here, but I think you can replace it. Yeah, Vivian for land is, is probably just our, our best option. We, we have to hit land drops. We're not, we're not going to win if we don't. Stop nature. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this Vivian anyway. Our Hadonis climb may, may be able to. No one knows the wilds like I do. Um, you could just... If you cut... If you cut the Krasis and you cut Growth Chamber Guardian, you can just play Merfolk Branch Walker and Wild Growth Walker also. And honestly, that may make the deck a little better. Just play, just play Wild Growth and, and Branch Walker. And I think you're fine there. Okay. Come on down here. Yeah, I, I play tennis, um, but I don't I don't really watch tennis though. No. But yeah, I was, I was a tennis player. Nice. You just have to sit right there, huh? What are you doing? Here, you can play with a pen. Don't bite me. Not bad for a moose. Ah. She might have called me a moose. Not bad for a moose. Meet my newest friend. I don't think we can win from here. Wow, Genicus is interesting. Wow, Genicus is interesting. Come to me. I think. Maybe it's not. Either. There, they finally found a crisis. I taught geometry. Yeah, so I was a math teacher. Uh, anyway, sorry, I missed the question. What do you think? Which Gates deck is most consistent for best of one? Um, honestly, don't know. Uh, I don't play a whole lot of best of one myself. And by a whole lot, I don't play it at all. So I, I honestly don't have a good answer for you. Hey, what's up, Jody? Uh, I think it... I think... Sultai will be, you know, it's, it's really popular right now because it's it's really easy to, to make and everything, but I don't think, um, I don't think it'll necessarily be as popular overall, um, 
later on in the format. I, I think that there are... I think there can be better decks. Um, put two counters on Growth Chamber Guardian. There's just nothing to do. Okay, let's try to do a little better. Let's get this mass manipulation in here. If we want that card, and uh, do we want negate? Um, I think that's all I did last time, was I just put in the manipulation for an incubation. I don't think I played negate. I always want negate? Or are you just saying that I do? Or do I... I guess I don't know what you mean by you always want negate. Like, are you talking about, like, me personally or, like, this matchup? Any thoughts on your sideboard? Not you personally. Okay, so... So this matchup, you always want negate. So that means I have to take out in incongruity, which means it may be hard for me to deal with their crazy side. All right, I'm in. Um, so, if, if you took out the freebooters for more removal, well, basically, we need Star of Extinction, there need to be Star of Extinctions in your deck, um, and you, you need a 25th land, at, like, at the very least, you need 25 lands in that deck, you know, maybe 26. Got to, got to have lands though, um, when you're trying to get to a seven drop with captive audience. Um, but anyway, so like Star of Extinction would be a good cyborg card. Um, I don't love the I don't really like the Pestilent Spirit too much. I don't I don't think you need it in that kind of deck because you actually have like Pestilent Spirit's good when you don't have uh, good enough removal. So you need your your like shocks and stuff to kill big creatures, but you have good removal. You have Bedevils, Veracity's Contempt, stuff like that. Like you, you don't need Pestilent Spirit. All right, our hand's kind of strong. More Growth Chamber Guardians. And we'll be able to ooze next turn and try to start getting our oozes above finality. Oh, or we can just Vivian. Alright, I'm in. If the wilds are my shield. Well, 
what's the benthid in the sideboard for? It's for the uh, for ag for creature aggro decks, uh, like mono white, or even against like uh, mono red that's playing chain whirler. I'm, I'm putting it in there. Um, yeah, that's what it's for. No one knows the wilds like I do. Could certainly see finality here, but you know they got three cards in hand. Hopefully it's not finality. Finality will allow them to get a ton of cards. Okay, good. Not not finality. Much more I've We're, seen things that would we now have a like stable you. battlefield uh, to protect Vivian, so I'm going to be taking up looking for Frilled Mystic uh, to be able to protect Vivian from a Contempt, and then Ultimate Vivian, and win. Alright, Negate's good. Meet that one works. My newest friend. Um, I guess I can Ooze and have Negate available. Can someone please pass the negate? Uh, you called it, Night Owl. That was that was yeah. That was actually from a little while ago. Yeah, you called it. Balance comes. All right, Vivian Ultimate. Best way to win. I feel like I may need some incongruities to just exile Wild Growth Walker or Krasis. Now nah, we got mass manipulation. All right, let's hopefully not fall behind on the draw here. It can certainly happen. Hopefully, it doesn't. Uh, we want a good fast start. We want lands and mana creatures. Come on, lands and mana creatures. Well, we got mana creatures. Didn't get lands, though. We needed two parts. We only got one. It's gonna have to be a keep. Not my favorite hand, though. The opponent has the fast start. They have lands of mana creature. That's really bad for us. I would like an Incubation Druid. Uh, if we can, you know, get a counter on Incubation Druid, can add a whole lot more mana for a climb. Well, we're just kind of dead. Yep, you got to pay the X twice on manipulation, so it, it is very expensive. That's a good hand for the opponent. Let's draw like an ooze, I guess.
I can't... You know, I would like to block the land where elf. Um, but I can't take nine. I can't really even take take that much either. No, I don't think River's Rebuke is a good sideboard option. Let's tear this place apart. I don't think so. Um, you know, our opponent just had an awesome hand, and you know, we were on a mold of six that was just kind of whatever. You know, like. That's the thing about Land War Elf games, they don't always look so close. <laughs> when you have when you have turn one Land War Elf and then turn two three drop, uh, turn three four drop, and then you start double spelling after that, and yeah, you know you just run away with it whenever we're just sitting there with a, a grizzly bear on two and an enchantment that does nothing on turn three. It's not close. All right, got some good rewards though with our three two. Our deck, that's the thing about that's the thing about the Simic Adapt deck too, is that it it doesn't play very well from behind. Um, you really need to be out in front. Wherever Simic Adapt went, Citic, there it is. Hey, we got to our fifteenth sub of the day. That means it's about to be pack time here in a little bit. Gervin, thank you so much, Gervin. Um, you know, like, we don't really have, like, the catch-up spells. Like, we don't have, like, there's not sweepers and that kind of stuff in, in blue-green. So you, you have to be out on the front foot. So, um, our hands where we did not have land Elf or Incubation Druid just were not, were not very good, uh, unfortunately. Uh, this is probably, I mean, we just kind of say, we, we're trying to play, like, I've been trying to play, like, Growth Chamber Guardian and other things in, like, these green decks, but honestly, it's just Wild Growth Walker, Merfolk Branch Walker, just probably just need to be the, they need to just be in the deck. Incubation Druid, or Incubation, we didn't really do very much with it. I think the Incubations and the Growth Chamber Guardians just need to be Wild Growths and Wild Growths and Branch Walkers. I know that doesn't make it much of an adapt deck. But that's that's probably just what needs to happen is Wild Growth and Branch Walker for Growth Chamber Guardian and Incubation Druid. Or the Incubation, sorry. That that does at least help you catch up a little bit more or like you know, stay alive, you know, like that that life gain. Like on turn five, you can play a Wild Growth Walker and a Jade Light Ranger and gain three life. Um or sorry, and gain six life. You know, sorry. And gain six life there. And, you know, if you're close to dying, that helps you stabilize and that kind of stuff. Mass manipulation, though, it is slow. You know, we need our we need our mana creatures to go with it, but it's it's certainly a card I'm interested in playing. Um, yeah, the explore package is just it's just too good. You know, it's it's really good against aggro. It's really good against control. It's just good. It's just really good. Um, but yeah, and especially when you don't have other interaction, you don't have sweepers. There's just not a better thing to be doing. So. All right, let's get a pack. We got to 15 subs on the day. So y'all are awesome. Pack time. Let's get an Ixalan pack. Talk about explore stuff. Get an Ixalan pack. What are we opening? Rampaging Ferocidon? What? You can open this card? I thought you couldn't open this card. Hawkeye, did you know you could open this card? Yeah, look at him. He's 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 shocked too. Look at how shocked he is. It says banned. This card is banned in the following formats. Standard. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, I guess you can open it. Maybe that means that it's gonna get unbanned? It sounds like that's getting unbanned. Confirmed. Rampaging Ferocidon unbanned. In standard. Hmm. 
There we go. What time does the stream end? Right now. Yep. So I usually stream from 3 to 10. We have played our four decks on the day. It is 10. It is time to end the stream. So thanks for watching, everybody. Um, and of course, if you're watching this on YouTube later, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on YouTube. Going to be doing a 12-hour stream whenever we get to 1,500 YouTube subs. So um, here's the link to YouTube here in chat. There's the link down below in the info panel as well. Uh, thanks, thanks for watching, though, everybody. Have a wonderful night.